Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. This is Rachel Georges, the artist behind Gorgeous Mixed Media. And I apologize, the first portion of uh, the pour didn't record. And that's just basically the laying out of the base colors. Um, I did use four base coat colors. Uh, the same colors that I actually used in the last video that you saw, but I'll put those down in the description. And then I tilted those colors pretty thin, and then I did my puddle pour. You don't always have to tilt off your base coat very thin, um, and it honestly, it's going to affect your cell activity. You know, the, the more base paint that you have on your canvas, the more cell reaction you're going to get. I, I did tilt off a lot and then I kept my puddle paints pretty thick. Um, the reason why was I had intended to kind of do a flowing scenery type piece. Um, so I am going in and doing a lot of palette work on this painting while it's wet. So here I'm just layering in some color. I did mix up the Plumeria by Color Art as well as the Blue Bayou, uh, and those are primary element pigments that I mixed up with my pouring medium. And so I'm laying those down, and they do create some really neat effects. They'll push the paint and uh, kind of create a cloud effect. If you've ever watched any of uh, Sarah Taylor's videos, she has her cloud mix. Well, uh, I found that these primary elements kind of do something a little bit similar. Um, not exactly the same, but similar. And I'm also laying in some of that iridescent gold high flow by Golden, which it also does create some really interesting effects. Uh, and you'll see me go in with my, my water bottle and spray some of the colors to kind of blend them together. Uh, so... With that, I will be quiet and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. If you like my content, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe uh, and hit those bell notifications so you get an alert anytime there's a new video. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Try to breathe, the moon will rise and carry me. 